Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this tutorial we are going to create a simple application um, called template and uh, we are going to use this template in all our future uh, small apps that we are going to make because you don't want to search and import uh, butter knife every time you you create a new app, small application and uh, we're going to also make a splash screen for our application so it looks a little bit not more nicely and as time passes and we will progress in this tutorial we're going to add more and more things to this uh, template application like uh, asking user for feedback or uh, uh, getting some uh, app news for example to display to the user when uh, he starts the app or adding uh, for example uh, some ads when uh, the app exit so let's go ahead and create a new project call it template and give it a company domain so we have a unique package name click next we will use api level 10 which is the most common minimum sdk click next and uh, um, our uh, creates a new blank activity let's call it splash and let's click finish now the first thing we do is to import butter knife to our gradle application gradle uh, build file okay and uh, butter knife also tells us to add uh, some more configuration and let's also import crouton because it just it just looks much better than toast click sync now so it will be synced okay now about this splash page let's make it a little bit nicer let's put this text view in center and call it um, give it the title of the app name and uh, we already have it in strings um, as app name so all we have to do is to modify the text to uh, point to the string app name let's make it a little bit bigger Okay, uh, we also don't want to any menu in the splash page. Let's go ahead and, and test our application. And while the emulator is uh, loading, let's create another activity called activity main main activity main activity let's create a new template for it let's just copy paste this template for now and give it a text of main activity Okay, so the emulator started and uh, here is our splash activity and uh, let's make it full screen for this let's go into manifest and uh, assign a full screen uh, scene for it and assigning a, a custom or a seem to uh, an activity you do like this you write android sim and uh, there's is, there is already a pre-made full screen sim so just write at android two points style slash sim 
and from it select black no title bar for screen let's go ahead and run it again and uh, it seems we have a problem we didn't put an ID here let's put uh, something not relevant because we will probably delete this text view when we are going to to make our application and now gives us an error because we used um, an illegal illegal scene to with our activity splash so it tells us this scene is not good let's modify the splash by not putting an action bar activity let's put simple activity and now it should be let's also clean a little bit this imports now everything should be good and we have our full screen uh, splash activity but why it's black let's make it white splash and uh, you just select the parent and you give it a custom background white okay next thing we have to do is to add our main activity to the manifest and um, here um, we will use up team up theme and let's go ahead and make it an action bar activity okay but let's link it to activity main and uh, let's add the butter knife and uh, let's add a menu to this um, activity and if you remember we already had a menu in the splash activity which we delete let's just hit ctrl z till we get it back let's just copy paste it in the main activity and uh, here it's tied to menu splash let's go and modify to menu main and we will refactor the code by renaming it to menu main and uh, in this we just have a settings let's add another item called uh, exit And we will make a new string called exit and uh, all you have to do to create a new string is just put a, a string name that doesn't exist then click alt enter and create new string and resource value will put exit and uh, it's automatically created here and uh, as action ID let's give it a unique ID of exit and uh, here we have an ordering category we want the settings to be first and uh, the exit to be last and let's just check if the action is uh, exit all you have to do is call a finish okay um now we have our splash activity but how we transition to the main activity let's let's create something called a, a countdown timer which when it it will trigger the end of it it will automatically go to to our next activity so how to do this you 
type like this new count down timer you give it a value how long you want to, to be visible let's put 700 milliseconds and the countdown interval this uh, interval it's uh, let's put it 700 for now and write two parentheses click point uh, point and start and after that go to countdown timer alt enter and implement methods and choose to implement all of them so this value the interval which it counts it, it will trigger this function but we have no use for it now we are all we are interested in is how what happens when this countdown timer finishes so here let's go ahead and create an intent And let's test our application. So we have an error. Let's take a look what is wrong. Um, so it tells us that we need a CMAP compat to, to work with this activity because when I press Control Control Z to get the menu. I forgot to change it again to activity. Also, let's add uh, in the splash activity a no history because we don't want to go back to the splash screen if, uh, if the user press back, presses back. Okay, let's clear this log. Now it's a little bit too fast for anyway we will modify this countdown timer with a, a method that up gets the up, up news later but for now we should be okay with only this 